Oh, hey, how are you doing? It's a little chilly today, folks. Starting to feel like Minnesota out here, you know? It's about 40 degrees, which it is October, so what do you expect? It's still super dry. This is the field we finished the other day. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna cut some soybeans today. See Eli all the way down there, coming down the road. So he's gonna come grab my truck and the corn head is up the road over there. And take it back down south, north. We're gonna take it somewhere else besides here and then we're gonna get going for the day. So we got the Argo wagon cleaned out and we went to set up to the next bin and we have a hydraulic leak on one of our hoses. So I am going to sit here and wait for this vehicle to come by so I can pull off onto the road. I'm gonna run into town here and uh, get a hydraulic hose made. And then we're gonna come out here and see if we can't harvest some beans. Hey, I think someone spilled some corn here on this corner. Huh. So I feel sorry for the guys who had that happen to them. We got our new hydraulic hose in the bed of the truck. So now I'm just gonna meander my way back out of town here and go get that on the auger. See if we can go the rest of the day without any uh, mishaps. I'm not gonna, not gonna guarantee that though. There's always something, always something. So since these are pipe thread, we gotta put these here back on. So we're gonna use a little bit of pipe dough, a little bit of tape, and use a little bit of brake clean to clean them up. And we're gonna throw them right back there, on there, so this thing can go back up in the air. Be back in a bit. on here so now this thing should be able to elevate up in the air and we'll put it over on the other side of the shed here on one of those bins this is why we can't have nice things oh well one job i hate to do is blow off combines but it's one of those painful necessities so here we go ah I wonder how all that corn got there, Eli. How, how did that happen? I thought it was supposed to go in, in the tank. Why is it why is it on the cab, huh? Oh boy. Front side here. Eli's gonna do the back side. It's pretty clean already, but never heard us just go ahead and do it again. So I think this goes against screen bin safety to uh have my phone out while I'm up here. But the goal of this is to get this as centered as possible. But apparently that lid's only gonna go that far. So uh, this is gonna have to suffice. Compromise. I guess that's the name of the game. Right. Auger set up, combine's blowing off. We finally start harvesting now. Ah! Just sent a command for my phone to kick this pivot on and see when it kicks on here. There it goes. 
and now should walk across this road and out of our way. Perfect. He's already about full with his first load. We're just going making a pass around the turn row on the edge there. So I don't know how the beans are doing yet, but they look pretty good so far. Got this switched over. This is a pretty cool system. So for those who don't know what this is, this is a Libra system from Central City Scale. We like this system because just how it's set up, I mean, you can just go through here, keep all your stuff in one spot. It's a really easy system to use. See, so switched over to 80 soybeans. It's going to have the destination operator, percentage, I mean, whole nine yards. It's a really good integrated system. Nice part is, is that you don't have to leave your scale in here at night. You can unplug it because that's that's just a power cord. It Bluetooths to the scale in the wagon. So just unplug it, grab your iPad, and you're gone for the night. And that's all there is to it. So we really like this system a lot. That's a nice pile of legumes you got there. Looks like someone forgot to tighten their shield up. What a rookie. Bunch of noobs. I'm just kidding, Eli, you're not a noob, but if I don't give you a hard time, then who will? Slow down just a little bit through here. Well, field we were on's done. The big perm, AKA Aaron, he's hopping in the truck over there. We're gonna take that across the river. Eli's coming back down the driveway, combine, tractor's emptied out, ready to move. Old Randall, he moved the semi out of the way. We're on to the next one. One, semi, semi, header, me, at least I'm halfway here. Let's get out. Let's blow this popsicle stand. So many flashing lights, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Well, I would have loved to share more of that drive with y'all since it's through the stockyards of a major town, but the light's green, so I, I will turn. Oh, I better get going. I better quit diddle daddling. Kansas? Oh, I don't think we're in Missouri anymore. No. To the wonderful joke folks over at John Deere, why design this tractor and that combine are within a year of each other of age they're both about four or five years old why design a tractor that can go 26 mile an hour and a combine that can only go 23 mile an hour knowing good and well that a lot of times they're going to be traveling together i just that just doesn't make sense to me i guess that's why i don't get paid the big bucks so from the big bad town of St. Joseph, Missouri, which is right on the other side of that tree, oh, oh, right over the side of that tree line, to the big bad town of Wathena, Kansas, here we are. Right now, Eli and the big perm, aka Aaron, are hooking the header up. Right there at the edge of the, of the machine is where the field starts. And so once he gets hooked up, he's gonna cut a spot out for us to where the semis over here, plus I, can slide down over there and have a place to sit. You know, a lot of people talk about things like rocket science or astrophysicist or something like that, you know, some big fancy word that has to do with science. Try moving large equipment through a crowded town. You know, the mental and emotional toll is just almost too much for a person to bear. It takes a lot out of you. And he said, let there be light. Oh, look at that. Much better. I don't think this uh, drown out spot right here is gonna yield very well, but we, we won't pay attention to that. Beans got tough. I just ate some pizza, so I'm ready to go home. And we're gonna call her a day. So Eli, where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's right there. He's putting it up for the night. I'm gonna shut this rig down. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.